So the movie turned off, so this is the second part. So now we've got one fruit here for Grandmother Earth. Four fruits here, just like the squirrel family. Five fruits here, just like the bunny family. And two fruits here, just like the birdie family. And let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they're in their separate piles for each of the families. And you could add your own little picture of a bird, maybe a little bunny here and a little squirrel if you would like. And of course we have Willow offering the fruit to her grandmother Earth. So we have the 12 and like this we have 12 minus 4 fruits for the squirrels equals 8 left over. Then we have eight, and we take away minus five fruits for the bunny family, and that equals three. So three are left over, and we take two away, three minus two here for the bird family, and that's one left over for Grandmother Earth. So for Willow and Ollie, start here with, um, I'm using golden yellow and let's see of course Ollie has blue and green and I'm using stick crayons here um, and Willow has the red stick crayon so you can use all of those to draw them. And I started, and oh, and for Grandmother Earth, she's got brown, which we only have a block crayon, and orange. And for her, I used the gold and yellow up here. And I used the blue for her hair. And I made little zigzaggy lines for her braids. And I kept her quite simple there, as you can see. So you can use those crayons to draw Willow, Ollie, and Grandmother Earth. And I started with all of them with the golden yellow. And I colored over it. But I started by their hearts and made their bodies and their legs. And then in the color they are, I added the arm and the dress for Willow and the brown hair for both of them. And for Ollie, I started with um, actually the golden yellow at his heart and made his body and his legs. And then I went over it with the blue and the green and his hair. The Both of their faces are golden yellow. And then I added the hair over it. And similar with Grandmother Earth. And also, um, for the numbers, you can use your stick crayons again with purple and blue or your pencils. So you could use purple and blue here for your numbers and equals, and then a green stick crayon or um, a green pencil to write out the numbers and the equal sign. So now you have some time to do that. Um, I'm going to put these like that so you can see them. And, and you can now Pause your video and then you can finish it. And if you need to, you can go back a little bit in the video to watch more of this drawing and how it's done. So for now, pause.
And so you should have your drawing done by now. Um, and now it is time to put your main lesson book away. Put your crayons neatly away. And go to read. So whatever you're reading right now, you can go do that for as long as your parents like you to do that each day. And we'll, I'll be reminding you to do that each day about this time in the lesson too. And when you're done reading, or whenever your parents want you to read is fine too. But then you listen to part three of the video that we, the that same one you would watch every day. And that's the end of main lesson, the song, the verse, the blessing before snack or lunch. And then much later on, um, after other lessons, you could listen to our end of school day verse. And then tonight or later this afternoon, there should be a story that I will read um, I don't, um, that I'll tell you that you can listen to and that'll be something that we'll talk about for tomorrow's lesson. Okay, have a most wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye, first grade.